morning, it's Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. It's the morning before the big game. Watch my team here. Can you guys see that? Big team, you know. Big game today. Well, <laughs> it has no real meaning. Netherlands against Chile. Your boy going to cook up something here so I can enjoy my lunch while I watch the game. And what I've got here, fresh out of the garden, what most of the Caribbean call Jamaican callaloo. In the Southern Caribbean, we call that baji spinach or chorai bhaji and rather than go with the traditional saltfish i'm going in with some pre-cooked baby shrimp chris here caribbeanpod.com if you guys are watching the world cup i go hope your guys team is doing well you know we're doing good always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen let's get cooking got a nice wide pan here on a medium high heat and i'm gonna go in with some coconut oil and since the pan was already Hot, you're gonna notice that coconut oil is gonna start melting away. Then we're gonna go in with some sliced garlic. Some sliced onion. I'm gonna move that around a little bit. And we wanna pretty much sweat that down to create that flavor base. But before I do, I'm gonna go in with some fresh ground black pepper. scallions and all the ingredients I use today will be mentioned down in the description of the video as well as on CaribbeanPod.com. I've got some fresh thyme here and this is just all aromatics just to add a nice flavor base. I'm going to turn my heat down to low and let that go slowly for about three minutes. With my heat still on low I'm going to go in with one cup of baby shrimp and these are pre-cooked shrimp. If you want to use the fresh stuff you can obviously do so. And traditionally, when kalaloo or Jamaican kalaloo is made in the Caribbean, it's usually made with salted fish like codfish, pollock, and stuff like that. But in this case, I'm doing things a little bit different. I'm using some pre-cooked baby shrimp. It's been about three minutes since I added the shrimp. I'm just going to turn up my heat to medium high now. If you're using raw shrimp, um, <clears throat> You may want to cook it just a little bit longer, or you can go to three minutes because what happens is it's going to continue cooking as we add the other ingredients. In goes some chopped tomato, some scotch bonnet pepper, and that's going to give it a good kick. And right away we're going to go in with that washed and trimmed Jamaican kalaloo or chorai bhaji. Pretty much add all of it in, in, in there. And next up, I'm gonna go in with some sea salt. You can use any sort of salt you like using, as well as about half a cup of water. This at this point will look like a big heaping um, pot full, I guess. But as it cooks, it will wilt down. So I'm gonna reduce my heat now to medium low and let that go for until pretty much it's tended to the point where I like it. It's been going now for about 12 to 14 minutes on that uh, medium heat. Sprung up a lot of its own juices as well. Remember we added that water in there. I don't like to overcook my uh, my kalaloo. So what I usually do, notice all that liquid at the bottom there. I really want to burn that out. Now here's where you're going to taste it for salt. Adjust it accordingly. And depending on how you like your kalaloo, I mean, it's like I said, I like it with a little bit of bite to it still. So I'm going to turn up my heat at this point, but you can continue cooking it on a low heat if you want to cook it some more. Turn up my heat to burn off that liquid and I'm going to go in with a fresh squeeze of lemon juice. That's just going to brighten things up a little bit for me. As soon as that heat, that water, that liquid down at the bottom there burns off, this is all done to my liking. So there you go friends, Jamaican kalaloo with shrimp, not the traditional salt fish. Don't forget to go in with that little bit of lemon at the end there, it's going to really brighten things up for you. Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com, always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen. Do not forget to click subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check out CaribbeanPod.com, my new cookbook is on there. You guys can go ahead and grab a copy of there. And orange, the color of this World Cup. Guys, don't forget, support the orange. Look at that, nice eh?